Shalom, shalom, my brothers and sisters. This is Miss Lady Lifestyle coming to you with this message. All glory to the Most High Yah, His Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Holy Spirit, which is the Mother Wisdom. Thank you for so much wisdom and taking the veil off of our eyes. You know, so here at um, A Lady with Cash, Motivational Speaking, you know, I hope it's not too blurry. But if this is the vision God gave me, this is the vision that you will see. Amen? All right, so what I was saying that at this motivational channel that we have, I would like to open it up to any um, nation that wants to repent for their sins, their grandfather's sins, their actions, to ask for forgiveness for their ancestors dealings that they have to pay for now like we went into slavery because of our ancestors and we weren't the generation of that time maybe we were I don't know we were reincarnated I don't know y'all can help me out there <clears throat> but I wanted to give this a platform for anybody of another nation that took advantage um, of God's children you know like Psalms 83, the you know, Tabernacle of Edom, the Moabs, the Hagen, Haganames, things like that. All those people that were listed as the men that was confederate against God's children. If you want to repent of your ancestors' ways against you and you have a different heart and a different spirit and a different way of life, I overstand. Like, say, for instance, Dana Stevens. I was listening to this gentleman, and he felt remorse and really was helping us out by giving us the truth in those times that we needed. So, Brother Dana Stevens is white. You know, he's a Caucasian man. But because he came on in video and spread to the world the, world the truth, I was able to grab hold of it, right? So I wanted to, them to be able to grab hold of this time to repent and have it on camera and just say like who you are and where you're from and you know, what was your background and growing up, you know, like with your parents, their demeanor, your outlook on the world, growing up yourself it just might have changed. And you say, you know what, children, we're not gonna live the way grand grandparents was living, and we chose a different path. So if you're a person that happened to be on a different path and coming to Yahushua HaMashiach, my father, Yahushua HaMashiach, uh, yeah, you know, which is the son of my father, Abba Yah, you know, and the Holy Spirit, if you're coming on that note, then yeah, you know, let you cleave to us the right way, right? You know, not your way, not how you want to cleave to us, but my Abba Yahweh, you know, to see that you was a, one of the good ones. You know, like I have a neighbor. To me, she's one of the good ones. <clears throat> you know, so I don't know what the filter is with this phone, but, you know, I will figure it out somehow. Maybe I got to clean the mirror, clean the phone. I'm trying to do the best I can. Let me see. Maybe it's the front mirror. I'm putting the back mirror. And it's the front mirror that needs to be cleaned. Maybe that's it. So much grease. So I just wanted to let y'all know this, that, you know, if you know anyone, they can reach out to me. I do take donations, you know, from Cash App. It's always dollar sign, Miss Lady Lifestyle. All one word. You know, if you want to send donations, you're more than welcome. Let's grow this business so that the strangers amongst us could have an opportunity to say, you know what, I'm sorry. I found out the truth. I realized the truth. And nobody want to put hands on you, but I want to help y'all escape. I want to help y'all on Exodus. I want to help y'all, you know, like Black Wall Street. Give y'all the supplies that y'all need so the Father can make y'all a nation. And these people don't have to drop bombs on you anymore. You know, so let's give them an opportunity to repent. You know, even in words and deeds and donations and stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, I developed a safe haven center here at home. 
you know, the best way to start a center or a business is at home, you know, so just cleaning up, straightening up, doing my laundry, cleaning the house, making food is in here. All that is a part of a job, a job of being a maid, being a housemaid, being uh, somebody that manage the homes, you know. Some people need super nanny, 911. Some people need super nanny, 911 to structure their children, right, because they can't get it together. But some people want their home structured and to get it together. So I do that. Like, I could go to people's homes and fi fix it up so we could get it together so they could live in class and style, you know, five-star living, you know, because people are not going to hotels anymore because of them bed bugs, uh, because of the COVID, you know, they're doing other things, you know, so fix up your house, clean your house to make it look five-star like you living in a hotel, right? So you know what basic things go in a hotel, the bed, the dresser, the TV, come on, carpet, the drapes, you know, all that, the bedding on the, on the bed, you know, you got to clean the bathroom, you got to clean the bath, you know, clean all that. You got to have the fresh towels, the fresh wash rags. You got to have all that, you know. So if you go into a hotel and you expect that type of service, then that's the service that I live in. You want to live in that type of service. You don't want to just go visit that type of service. You want that type of service every day. <laughs> so if you don't give it to yourself, then you have to go to a hotel to give it to you. But I like to give it to myself and others. You know, so at the Safe Haven Center, we like to supply the needs of everybody, like towels and soap and uh, tissue paper, paper towels and toothpaste and water and, you know, food for, for them just in case they're hungry. This is a safe haven, you know, so you're not coming here to starve. You're coming here to grow. You're coming here to learn. You're coming here to do something. You're coming here to improve your life so that when you leave here, then you'll be a bit a better person a bigger and a better person for the most high yeah when you come here to the safe haven um it's a noble theory and a practice so we practice safe haven for everybody even the gentiles so if you're a gentile that want to cleave and you want to go through the interview process and you want to start living holy close to us and you want to cleave to us no problem you just have to do it the most high yahweh not your way but the other yahweh and yahusha hamashiach will send you if you're one of the chosen gentiles to cleave to us i'm sure he would make a way to me so that you will be in a safe haven you will be able to get information you will be able to work out eat healthy you will be able to grow your hair and be a greater person than you left right and also fight those demons off you know the lustful demons the even in envious demons all those demons that you fight with because everybody here is at peace <clears throat> this is a safe haven place and a safe haven starts with miss lady so if i'm at peace everybody else is at peace and they happy you know and that's how i want to dwell in happiness and peace like my son you know and this is in memory of christopher k petaway i love him and he always lived in peace and i want everybody that lives with me in peace okay not arguing fighting stressing you know all that chaos take that outside you know there's trouble outside my mother says always something outside there's trouble if you're looking for trouble go outside if you're looking to get into trouble go outside there's always trouble out there waiting for someone you know so i stayed inside <laughs> why do i want to go outside and have trouble find me you know what i'm saying if the trouble's not in my bed bedroom i felt like i was safe you know and at this time i feel like i'm safe so, you know, this is a safe haven for everybody, especially the tribe of Judah, because of everything that we was going through. And we was going through Black Wall Street, and children didn't have, like, a safe place to go to when they were bombing us and bombing our family and hanging them from trees and, and, and putting them into pits and feeding them to alligators. They were doing that to us, and we was living at peace in Black Wall Street. So don't let them fool you like there was some far-off, distant Thing that they was doing because they were still doing it we were still living at peace in black wall street living amongst each other going to school amongst each other flying planes going to the doctor doing all that stuff the father was protecting us 
but they the ones that dropped the bomb on us. They the ones that stood in the way when we was trying to escape. They were the ones that was um, taking all our property and for themselves and using our daughters and our men as harlots, as is all that stuff. They were showing their wickedness. And when as soon as they were in depression, that great depression that they were in, where they didn't have shit, they didn't do shit, they didn't couldn't even eat shit because they was in a great depression, they figured out they needed them slaves back again. So that's why they was coming because we was just thriving. We didn't even need them. We didn't need them, we didn't ask for them, we didn't do nothing. They needed us. All right? That's why that little hoe was in there in the elevator thing trying to um to do to, to the elevator. Oh, but she screamed, so now everybody come and, 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 and get on this black boy, and he didn't do nothing wrong, and he was telling them they didn't do nothing wrong, he tripped. This hoe was just screaming. And we still got these uh, girl next doors, white girls next doors, screaming and hoeing for no reason, and then calling the cops on a black brother. And they the ones, she was probably filling up on him, and he turned her down, knowing how these white hoes be acting. Yes, I said it. Y'all European girls, y'all just hoes around here, and then y'all keep quiet. But the God knows everything that y'all do. It says, in, it says in Obadiah 1. So if you don't read Obadiah 1, whose fault is that? If you don't read Revelations 18, 19, and 20, and 21, 22, whose fault is that? You just don't know what's coming. Whose fault is that? Is that my fault that I tell you the truth and you have to do something? Got to get ready? You got to clean up your house? You got to clean up your house? Hello? What, what times do you think that we in? Not slavery times. We in judgment times. Right now it's judgment times. Right now is annihilation time. Annihilation? Did you look that up in scripture? What look that up in a dictionary? What is annihilation? Annihilation. I looked it up in scripture. Okay. That's what's coming. That's what's coming for y'all. So if y'all not going into slavery like captivity, and y'all all prideful and say, "Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna go to war because I'm not gonna go into captivity that you're supposed to go into captivity." If y'all not willing to go into captivity and be submissive, if you're not willing to comply, you will die. The same thing that y'all was telling us: comply or die to y'all laws. Y'all itty bitty laws, your laws that y'all don't even follow, those laws, if we don't follow those laws and we'll be killed, well, God has laws too. And if you don't comply to his laws, you will die. You get me now? If you don't comply to God's laws, you will die. So... I'm just coming on here to share this, you know, not to disturb anybody's groove. Listen, God said, let the filth be with filth, let the righteous be with righteous, and let the holy be with holy. So, I'm going to let the righteous be with righteous, and I'm going to let the holy be with holy, and I'm going to let the filth be with filth. What? It's that simple. Well, this is Miss Lady Lifestyle. It's only my lifestyle. If you like it subscribe if you don't like it make your comment i know god will read it if i don't read your comments i know god will read your comments <laughs> so whatever comments you leave make sure it's in good faith because god will write it all down <laughs> so this is a wonderful time you know i listen to big judah obviously i listen to lisa cabrera obviously i listen to sister um carrie ann obviously i listen to uh off off grid desert with adrian and the husband i watch him <laughs> paul and adrian with paul and adrian i watch them this is a time for education and if i'm in school this is the right school <laughs> I have professor 
Big Judah. I have Professor Lisa Cabrera. I have Professor Sister Carrie Ann. I have a lot of professors that are giving out all of this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And then all I do is just sit and listen and it makes sense. So if you're a white person that want to address your wrongs in the presence of God daughter, you know, like, you know, just a representation of the most high Yah Israelite daughter. You could talk to me on Talk One on One Live. Say that you're interested. Talk one on one live at gmail dot com. If you're interested or know someone that's interested in relieving their sins and their pains and understand what time it is and they want to be able to be on record to record live or video to share to say i apologize what i did to your ancestors this is what i participated in i was the little girl that was under the tree while they was hanging your uncle and they were smiling and taking pictures. I got a robe in my basement that was from the KKK. I think my grandfather had that robe. I'm sorry that he used you as one of the slave runners that he told you to go capture. But I've been to the museum. I've been to all the museums. Okay, and I didn't see not a KKK robe, not a KKK stick, not a KKK nothing. So obviously, y'all still got them. So if y'all still walking around with that, that means slavery is not over. So if y'all thinking about something, you're twisted because you got it all wrong. You're going to be the new captives. <laughs> and quick, like what thus saith the Lord, those that uh, sent people into captivity shall go into captivity. Yeah, if we ever sent y'all into captivity over 400 years ago, a thousand years ago, I apologize for my ancestors' wrongs for putting y'all into captivity if they ever did in ancient times. Maybe y'all barbarians, barbarians needed to be captured, right? But us godly people, godly human people, do not need to be captured but if we were captured because of because of our punishment then so be it we served it served done penalty over punishment paid now next what it say it says those who took you into captivity the nations that took you into captivity shall be judged and they shall and it says, because precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. So what I also read is that God loved Jacob and hate Esau. Who's Esau? What I also learned is this is the end of Esau, the beginning of Jacob's world. And I realized that y'all are nothing but spit to spit. That spit. That's what y'all are. So this is not fun, 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 fun times for me. Even though it's peaceful, 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 blessing, 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 blessing time for me. But I feel I'm not done. I still have more work to do. And right now it's just giving me a, giving you an opportunity to just come clean. Just come clean. Give us all the things back that y'all took from us. Or face my father. One or the other. My father wants it all back. My father's going to get it all back. And his son Yahushua HaMashiach is going to do his will. Now let me know if I haven't been going to church. 
and reading the scriptures and finding some facts, some information. So now, oh, you gave us, um, what you got, a mac, what you call it, when they freed us from slavery, emancipation, proclamation. Y'all gave that, gave us that, and y'all thought y'all was free to do whatever y'all wanted to do now because y'all gave us freedom. You know the mac, uh, you know you did all that. You did that treaty. And you thought we were supposed to have peace, 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 peace. But it didn't happen that way. That Black Wall Street happened. That we were sitting by next to them. And once you was there. It said once you was, was, was like them. Poor, impoverished, or rich, and on top. So why would you get in the way and destroy that? So let's just do modern day. Why this is happening. Let's not say, oh, it's because of slavery, because that was written in scripture in Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 68. Okay, so it was written. Okay, fine. But when Black Wall Street came out, that's when you did a second bomb. That's when you went ham on us and our family and the kids and the children. You separated and parted the lands. You did that. You told Dominicans they were different from us. You told Haitians they were different from us. You told Jamaicans they were different from us. You told us we were different from Africans. You told Africans they were different from us. That's all y'all did was divide and conquer. And it's obvious that that's what scripture said and scripture was, didn't lie to me yet. Not the parts I read. Y'all fit in the scripture. Y'all fit in the description. The Esau is not here. Esau right in front of my face. Well, not in front of your face now. <laughs> I'm front of your face. And, you know, but we have Esau right in front of our face. And it, and it describes them perfectly. Perfectly. I fit the description of Deuteronomy. They fit the description of Obadiah. How is that? I fit the description of Deuteronomy. I fit the description of Deuteronomy 15 to 68, but now I fit Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 15. I represent Deuteronomy 1 through 15, 1 through 14 to be exact. So if I represent Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 1 to 14, then these crackers represent Obadiah. Let that make sense. Ask me how I know. Let that make sense. Let that sink in. So I might talk crazy, but what comes out my mouth is the truth. Yeah, but I do appreciate this time. Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. I pray that you enjoy your new year. Happy New Year. Woo! I don't have a horn. But woo! Happy New Year. And, you know, and the Passover is coming. So get prepared. I'm looking for a nice Passover, holy Passover, acceptable for the most high. So if anybody out there that has a, a nice Passover prepared for the brothers and sisters of the nation, I would definitely love an invite. You know, let me know because I would love to, to participate in that. But I know the Most High Yah is going to prepare things for me and make it just as tasty as could be. Okay? So, you know, it's all glory to the Most High Yah. Try and do the best you can. Do the best you can. You know, even though we all fall short from the glory of the Most High Yah, you know, He gives us a way out of no way. You know, how do I get out of this situation? You pray to God and He will get you out of it. Trust me, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. So once you really, 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 really feel that, even when times are bad, God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. You realize that he would change that situation around for you in an instant. Okay? Trust in the Father. He, he got your back. He got your back. Or definitely he, we got ancestors up there that got our back. Okay? And told God the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. So when you go and present yourself in front of God, you stand in Him with truth and righteousness on your side. You understand? All right, I pray y'all overstand. This is Miss Lady Lifestyle. You're listening to a lady with cash. And eventually, Mr. Cash will come on and talk his knowledge 
um, to help the nation as well, all right? So it was a pleasure. Peace out. Ciao. <laughs>